What's up guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com here and we're standing outside a movie trading company kind of similar to like a half price books where they sell used CDs, DVDs, books, video games, toys, things like that. So think of it like that in terms of pricing. So we're gonna go in here and see if we can't find some profits. I don't know if we can because of that pricing. I'm not sure what their prices are. Hopefully they have a clearance section so I can hit that up and find some decent CDs and DVDs. So I don't even know if we're gonna find profit here but let's go in and see if we can. All right, people, we're inside. Look at all the DVDs and CDs that they have. This is a huge space with tons of stuff to scan. Definitely not going to have time to go through it all. Prices are actually high, too, as you can see right here in this case, man. These must be some rare or collectible items. Definitely not going to mess with any of that. So, again, just tons of stuff to scan. But we're looking for the deals. We're looking for the clearance. Uh, we came across this was uh, 4 for 12. So that's pretty good. I mean, you could probably make some money off of that. If you find the right ones, 4 for 12, you can definitely find some profits in those probably. But here's when I see the clearance section. Now it's starting to look good. These little boxes here scream $1. DVDs on the next one scream $1. And then there's another table right behind it that also have dollar DVDs or 99 cent DVDs. So we're going to get to work, man. We're going to start scanning and see if we can't find some profits here at Movie Trading Company. All right, we've been scanning for quite a while now. We've got a little basket full, so check it out there. Basket full of CDs and DVDs, and we're about 75% done. All right, so that's Movie Trading Company, man. We spent almost two hours in there scanning all that clearance stuff, everything they had priced for $1. We scanned a ton, and we found a ton. So that was pretty awesome. We found 47 items, to be exact, at a buy cost of $76. Here's the receipt right there. $76.35 is what we spent on total 47 items. So the buy cost breaks down to about $1.60, $1.65. That's a great average buy cost for me because I'm usually spending anywhere between $2 to $3 for CDs and DVDs. So I'm pretty happy with Movie Trading Company right now, man. I'm definitely going to start folding in their stores into my sourcing routes, man. I never went to Movie Trading Company before to scan their clearance, but I did. Found a ton of items, a ton of profit. I'm not even going to estimate the profits on this haul because I don't know for sure. I would have to go back and look at all 47 items to see exactly how much profit is there. So I'll keep you guys posted, man. I'll put out another video going over the Movie Trading Company profits once I get all this stuff into inventory lab and ready to ship off to Amazon. But two of those 47 items were something for fun. So look what I got here. This is a bargain bag CD. It's just a brown bag of 20 CDs. The cost on that was $12.99. But with everything together, like I said, one of these packs averages $1.60, $1.65. If I do average buy cost between all 47 items, I get about $1.60, $1.65 per piece. So one of these big 20 packs, I got two of them. So just one of them is $1.65, we'll say. So there's 20 in here. I got two of these. That's 40 DVDs. I don't know what they are. Hopefully we get some good profits in there, but I just paid $1.65 for each of these. So within these 40 DVDs, I just have to make $4 back to be in profit, man. So let's see if that's possible. And that of course will be another video as well. We'll go over that. So this is just for fun, man. We'll see what happens. Hopefully there's some profit in there, man. But that is Movie Trading Company, guys. If you're not going to Movie Trading Company and you're selling CDs and DVDs, man, go ahead and give it a shot. It was definitely worth the time. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah.